After more than a year of the pandemic, many empty storefronts can be seen in downtown El Paso. Thanks for joining us. I'm Daniel Muddy. And I'm Natasha Paloma. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live from downtown with how and when officials say they expect business to return. see just one of the many four lease signs here in downtown. I'm standing on Mill Street right now and you can see multiple empty storefronts behind me. Now the downtown management district says that the pandemic has been devastating for downtown businesses, but they expect for business to pick back up again soon. We've seen our share of businesses have to close down. According to the El Paso Downtown Management District, downtown was growing at the start of the pandemic, but that growth came to a halt. In conversations with business owners, they've done everything they possibly could over the past year plus to try and survive. But while businesses did close, the Downtown Management District says the area still sought new investments. While we have a few empty storefronts around San Jacinto, you also have the Plaza Hotel opened up. You also have the Hotel Paso del Norte within eyesight of it. And in May, the El Paso Chihuahuas will return for the first time since 2019 to play baseball. With the return of the, uh, with the Chihuahuas, the locomotive, definitely gonna bring back some of that life and customer base to the downtown. And we do expect those people coming down for games to, to shop and dine. One downtown restaurant, Drax Cheese Steaks, closed down at one point, but ultimately survived the pandemic. And staff is hopeful that events will bring more business. We, um, when it was open back then, uh, like in 2019, uh, people would come uh, because of the sports and the games that they would have. It would pick up a little bit. So hopefully if they reopen, it'll continue to like rise like little by little. The downtown management district says that in addition to events that companies that are based here in downtown are slowly starting to bring their employees back and that those shops and restaurants that are still open are going to have to prepare for an increase in customers in the coming months. Reporting live in downtown El Paso, Shelby Cobb, KTSM at 9 News. All right, Shelby. Thank